Apu, you've got to help me warn Krusty about this alien plot and thus save the good people of Springfield. I'm sorry, sir, but I cannot speak English. I only speak Hindi. But you're speaking English now. Uh, yes, I learned these words phonetically. Well, you're just scared of being vaporized by the space monsters. Up, down, up, down. Uh, go hot dog. Butter my undershirt. Blah, blah, blah. Auto man, I need a ride. No can do, little dude. I gotta round up these other little dudes and get them to Krusty Lou for the studio tour. That's where I need to go. Step on it, Otto. Okay. Right after I drop these kids off at Krusty Lou. Otto, I just said that. All right. Stop hassling me, midget Abraham Lincoln. Barney, where's Krusty? I have to warn him. Krusty's not here, little Homer. He's down at the squid port, doing a promo for this new Buzz Cola. But that's the cola the aliens are using to control all human behavior. Control human behavior? No beverage could do that. Oh no, I haven't had a duff in two hours. My life is over! <laughs> but I have to get to Krusty before the limo does. And I have to stay here and go through the DTs. Sounds like a plan. Krusty, listen carefully. Aliens are handing out free laser guns and cola that makes you go crazy. It'll be a massacre. The streets will be littered with lasered off limbs and heads. Yeah, right. And I'm getting into the Country Western Hall of Fame. It just ain't gonna happen, kid. Oh, I just gotta find evidence. Who do I know that's smart enough to prove this alien conspiracy? Bumblebee Man? Comic Book Guy? Disco Stew? That's it. A nerd! Professor Frank! <laughs> Professor Frank, you've gotta help me. No one believes my story. It's just like the boy who cried wolf. Except, instead of a wolf, it's an alien conspiracy. Aliens? Well, that would explain these strange transmissions from my plutonium CB radio. I must have intercepted an alien message. It says they're hiding the lasers in the duff trucks. Glehive and Gwivey, the plot is convoluted now. Relax, nerdlinger. I'll knock the lasers out of the truck so I can show them to Krusty. If I show this laser gun to Krusty, he'll have to believe me. I can't believe I have a working laser gun and I'm using it for good. I am such a sellout. Principal Skinner! Aliens are distributing deadly lasers all over Springfield. We gotta warn everybody! All we've gotta do, young man, is get that illicit goo gaw out of your hands. Clearly, you forgot the school's zero tolerance policy on lasers. Fire in the hole! Take that. Now to show the proof to Krusty. And if he doesn't believe me now, I'll fry his butt. Krusty, I've got proof now. See this laser gun? Well, what do you know? You were telling the truth. You've taught this old clown a lesson. And uh, blah, 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 etc., etc., stay in school. I just wish you told me before I let them set up those free laser gun stands. Oh, man. Better get some heavy artillery if I'm gonna take out that much private property. Kearney should have something good. Hey, Kearney, I need to do a lot of collateral damage in the minimum amount of time. I've got just the thing. I've got a car that was owned by a super villain. He used it to conquer the East Coast. Oh, why didn't I just do this in the first place? Uh, why didn't I know that showgirl last night was a guy? Hindsight's always 20-20. Dad, the aliens have taken over the Duff Brewery and they're using it to store laser guns. Oh, God, never in my life have ever had to do so much explaining. What? This is Duff's worst disgrace since Duff Ice. It's time to use my secret weapon. Remember when I told you I sold my old car so you could go to college? Yeah. It was a lie. <laughs> Yay, Duff Luck's worth more. <laughs>